trouble with the likes of you. You stuff in that chest over there. Just take it and leave us in peace. Good. And stay away from me in the future. No problem, miss. Now, it was the first thing I stole, just to prove that I could. It came from some traveling noble. Yes, I am listening. When you have reached my age, you have less to worry about the world freezing and... Oh. Good day to you. Oh, it is very much so. And I wish you the same. Day, traveler. What would you speak of? Tell me about Munarvigir. We are a proud city, bastion amidst Yanvadir, and valiant raiders over Gandvik. Or we would, if Lake Gandvik were not frozen solid with this fell winter. As warden of the city, I take it as my duty to know all the residents. the thieves lodge in truth and you have evidence of this that i do not then i do not wish to hear of it i would not have ill told of my citizens without proof what does lift do it is good to have a skilled healer between our city walls one does not always leave battle unhurt and unscarred and even in peacetime there are accidents lift has saved the life of many a warrior and we are proud to have him in our midst what about the town librarian? Rarely does a Viking live to be as old as our librarian. I believe no one remains alive that recalls what his name is, but he has his title, and it serves him well. Within his books, he keeps the law of our clans and the brave deeds of our dead, so that they can be sung anew. Are you related to Sigrun? <laughs> no, though you are scant the first to notice the resemblance that our names bear. She was the wife of one of my finest warriors. Now, she stands alone, and he walks Valhalla with the Einheria. Still, such is the will of the gods, and the woman is bearing up well. Can we speak about Regan? We have adopted Regan, for he is not of this town. Let it not be said that Munavagir is inhospitable to strangers. He is not much of a warrior, yet he has seen more of the worlds than you and I. You should speak to him, and learn from him. Do you have a meal for me? I do. I shall serve you a fine stuffed duck. You should definitely try it. Sigurd's cooking is the best in all of Yonvidir. As we agreed, you shall have my hospitality for free.
I wish you good health. Travel safely, stranger. Good day to you. I hope your travels keep you safe, but if not, I may be able to help you with a potion or two. I would like- If you'd like to buy an elixir. I wish you- Stay in Monavigir as long as you like. One day, one day when I'm older, I shall draw out the sword and be a mighty warrior. My father shall be so proud. Now I had better return home. It is getting late. Hello, little man. It is a good... Who are you? Stay away from me, you troll! <laughs> the little man thinks he is a warrior. With a wooden sword, oh, <laughs> yes! The little man! Such a worthy opponent he was to you. Indeed! Master will be so proud of us! But now, they must give us the eye. Let us go hide the little man! Help! Father! A troll got me! Help! <laughs> Good day to you. I hope your travels keep you safe, but if not, I may be able to help you with a potion or two. I would like to buy some of your wares. If you'd like to buy an elixir. 
I wish Steam another game. Welcome, traveler. We may be in an endless winter with our food supplies running out, but I still manage to keep my tavern open. Please tell me about yourself. My name is Lithrasir. I run the Slave Here Inn, meaning I keep the people in town here happy in the face of Ragnarok through judicious application of alcohol. Sleipnir is the eight-legged steed of Odin the Single-Eyed. Loki, forger of evil, had hired a mighty frost giant to construct a keep for him. But the Jotun would only be paid if the task was done within three seasons. So, to ensure the Jotun's work would run late, Loki the Sly turned himself into a mare to distract the Jotun's horse from helping him. The plan worked, and the Jotun left without payment. But, as a result, Loki the Giant Thief gave birth to the horse Sleipnir. What can you tell me about the city? Lots of things, if you want to hear them. Being a barkeep means you hear all the tales. Some people get very talkative in my inn, if they do not pass out from a drink too many. What is Jarl Ilfing like? What can I say? He keeps the city safe. I do not speak to him much. He prefers his own castle to my little tavern here. Do you know the wizard Orvindel? No, I have never heard of the city's wizard, the personal advisor to our Yao, who frequents my tavern for its drinks. No, indeed. Let us speak about Snorri. Oh, he can talk smoothly enough. But you should know that he has a girl in every port town within a hundred miles, and then some. Tell me of Voland the smith. The local smith frequently comes to the sleep near inn for a drink and some gambling. A good enough fellow, if a bit quiet for my taste. Hervor is really happy with him. What do you know about Hervor? Poor Hervor is really upset that Jaime has disappeared. I hope the boy is found soon. Surely you have met Jaime? Of course I have. 
He is the light of the town with his enthusiasm and his wooden sword. I bet he would charge straight at a dragon if we had any. What do you know of Munarvagir? Oh, the people from Munarvagir are nice enough. At least, one of them is. Did you need a letter delivered? Yes, I do. There are not many people traversing the forest in the Thimble Winter, and some of us have gotten it into our heads that Munavagir is somehow our enemy. So, I would like you to find your way through all the evil snow, talk to the oh-so-scary humans in Munavagir, and give this letter to the resident healer. Lif is his name. What can you tell me of the forest? I have traveled through the woods a few times, but am not an expert. I find the whole human Avigir very beautiful. I would like to- I'm sure you would, but you would have to come to the Sleipnir Inn when- It is good to see you safe again in Thornsectuna. If you have any needs or questions, I am sure my townsfolk can help you with that. Yes, what is it? What can you tell me about the city? Horn Sigtuna is the grandest city in this part of Midgard. It is the capital of Yanvadir and the major trade destination on Lake Ganvik. There is a village southeast of here, which is under protection of our Jarl, even though the inhabitants do not wish to be. What do you think of Lithras here? The Lady Lithras here runs the local tavern, Sleipnir's Inn. She's a good friend of my wife. Let us speak about Snorri. Snorri is my brother in arms. We have proudly fought many battles together. He speaks like a bard, but do not let that fool you. He is a proven warrior thrice over, and a match for my brother Agalas with the bow. Do you know the wizard Arvindel? Our resident wizard is the Jarl's chief advisor. He is skilled enough, but I do not care for his roundabout language, so I know little of him. What is Jarl Ilfing like? I am sworn vassal to Jarl Ilfing, the brave and noble ruler of Born Sigtuna. We shall not gossip about him without him present. Let us speak later. May your blade always be keen. Yes, what is it? Let us speak later. May your blade o-
Look out! A poisonous owl! Look out! It's poisonous! Look out! A poisonous tree! Look out! A po <laughs> we meet again, puny mortal. This is I, Ratatus. Remember Ratatus, the doom squirrel? Of course you do. Everybody remembers the mighty Ratatus. And you are surely doomed now, human. See this wooden sword here? You need it, but you are doomed because I have it. And I shall not into little pieces with my mighty teeth of doom. <laughs> I shall not do for that mortal. Jaime has not returned. Something happened to him. I can feel it. Be calm, my love. Jaime is a tough kid. He will find his way. No, I will not be calm! Uvor. Our son is missing! And there are bogs and trolls and worse in the woods! We must do something! I will search all of Yarnvidir by myself if I must! I will talk to Ilfing and have him send his soldiers into the woods. And then I shall join them myself. We will get Jaime back, I promise. Hurry.
cannot speak now. My son has disappeared. Greetings again, traveler. Since it is not the first time that I greet you, I am sure we are both busy people. If you have pressing matters, and I am not too busy to discuss those with you again. How may I be of assistance on this bath day? Or can I otherwise help by assisting you? I am curious what magic you have for sale. Since you asked me what I sell, I could sell you a magic potion or two, which are potions that I have created through magic. If you have the talent, I can also sell you a spell of sh I wish you good health. It is time that I return to my duties, because I am dutiful. Yes, what is it you are showing to me? And why is it me that you are showing this to? This is Jaime's sword. He has not returned from the forest. Very good. Let us step over to my crystal sphere, which is a sphere carved out of crystal, and which will show us a crystal clear image of the whereabouts happened to Jaime. This is the child Jaime who is the child we are looking for. I shall now ask the Crystal Sphere to find this child and show his captor to us in the Sphere. This is the troll Trivolde, who is a two-headed troll. This troll, who has two heads, is responsible for the disappearance of Jaime and is named Trivolde. Yes, he looks familiar. Interesting. I am not familiar with this face, but it interests me because it is clearly a Svartal. The troll must have had an interest in bringing Jaime to this Svartal. Hello, Elfman! Elfman, hello. Welcome, troll. Welcome, other troll head. See? You are the other troll head. Shut up! Your purpose here, and the purpose of the human child by your side. Please help me, noble elf. No talking, you small man. We got this small man for our master. After a mighty battle, we finally caught him. No way did not. We caught the small man. Oh, yes. It was not a mighty battle. This is only a child. It is no match for us. Okay. After not a mighty, not a battle, we finally caught him. Hardly an impressive boast. We want you to guard this child. Because the humans have the eye. And they will give it to us in trade for the child. My father will stop you, and then the hero lady will defeat you too. <laughs> no, they shall not. Because they are weak. And then we give the eye to our master, and your master will be proud, oh yes! On my payment for this task. You do this for the glory of the master! Not my master, therefore no. <sighs> you drive a hard bargain. But we have the drill called Rati. It was grafted by the Svartal Farm, then lost! If you guard this child, we will return it to you. Acceptable. We shall leave the child with you, and return later. Now we have an army to lead, and a human hero to kill. And we know humans do not turn to stone, 
And that was not my idea at all. Hmm, yes. So we shall eat her. Let us go now. Cage for you now, child. So this tells us where your quest shall go. You must quest for Svartalfheim, the realm of the Svartalfa, at our bequest to request the return of Jaime, unquestionably. And where is this Svartalfheim? It is one of the nine worlds. There are nine of them, you see. You are standing in Midgard, the realm of the humans. Odin the Foretelling and the Aesir reside in Asgard, realm of the gods. And then there is Jotunheim, the frozen realm of the Frost Giants. Svartalfheim is where the Svartalfa reside. Unlike Asgard, it is permissible for mortals to go there. And unlike Jotunheim, Svartalfheim is not immediately legal to mortals. Unfortunately, I do not know how to travel to Svartalfheim and meet the Svartalfa that reside in that realm. You will need to find a mystical way of transporting yourself mystically. A mystic circle of mystical stones may be involved for transporting in this circle. I am sure that a resourceful adventurer would have the resources to find the source to tell you how to adventure to the realm of the Svartalfa, which is named Svartalfheim. Very well. Thank you for your assistance. I am going into town, which is where I am going, and request that you leave my chambers while I am in town by my request. The Jarl has no time to speak to you at the moment. You're the one the Jarl sent for. I think that stopping the Fimble Winter is a man's job. Have you heard of Svartalfheim? The wonderful realm of Svartalfheim lies north of Lake Gunlick. It's a place of vast riches, but inhabited by the fierce Sami people who can throw a pebble at you and turn it into a mountain in midair. No, it is not. Ah, uh, must you ruin my tale? Very well. I have never been to Svartalfheim. Are you happy now? All I know is there's a guardian at the gate to Svartalfheim. You will have to draw the guardian's attention. I'm not sure how, but the last thing you will need to do is make an offering of wine or mead. Only then will it speak to you. Pouring it on the ground is probably sufficient. It's a waste of drink, though, if you ask me. Let us speak later. You should stay here with us. Pretending to be a hero is just going to get you killed.